It's kit unboxing day. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I will be unboxing the March 2024 card kit from Simon Says Stamp and making five cards for your viewing pleasure. This year, the Simon Kit subscription program has had an upgrade. All subscribers to the kit are going to get $5 off the retail price. You can skip any kit that does not look like it's your jam. All you have to do is on kit reveal day, check out the kit and then skip it before it bills the following day. Another new feature is you can add any other products you like to your order to ship with your kit at no additional shipping charge. That's pretty cool. We've got lots to cover, so stick around. My unboxing and card mix are coming up next. Commence the unboxing. Sorry about the bruise. It's taking forever for that thing to go away. All right, let's get it out. Let me pull it all out so that, like magic, it will be in front of you. Here is the March 2024 card kit from Simon Says Stamp, and this is called Mix and Match Butterflies. And it will make sense because now I've got everything arranged and we're gonna work our way down. So first, sugar sustenance, put that aside. Oh, cute. <laughs> I know about these. I've done a card with these. You're going to get a set of action wobblers. The size may vary in your box, and it looks like I have some of the smaller ones, so that's cute. Might be doing something that wobbles today. I know how to do that. You're going to get, oh, this is so fun. These are the Cool Tones Positively Dazzling Gems. These are new from Simon Says Stamp. This is something new that Simon is going to be carrying in the store, and they are extremely shiny, very thin, and I'm very excited to use those. Ooh, you are going to get one pack of Tim Holtz Ideology Transparent Things. That's a funny name. Oh, stay there. Don't roll away. That's really fun because they're transparent things. So that is all that comes in that pack. Oh, that's fun. I'm not afraid of this kind of stuff anymore. I tell you. You are going to get a full-size bottle of Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. Hey, we can all use liquid glue, right? So you got, you got that working for you. You are going to get 12 double-sided sheets of Crafter's Companion Kingfisher 6x6 pattern paper. So let's, uh, let's move, let's get you up here and let's take a look at the papers. So this is, oh, it's all double-sided. Oh, that is like a dreamy fairyland background. Oh, these are very painterly and yet there's a nice neutral Oh, there's the Kingfishers. Wait, which way does he go? Well, he's flying. Oh, that's really pretty too. Oh, okay. Very pretty patterns. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay, lovely. That looks like it, is that a repeat? No, it's, it's not. Okay, that's a lot. Look at that. Look at those birds going. And again, this is very dreamy. Oh, that's really painterly, fairy-like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's very cool. And 12. And it's a nice, oh, that feels like about an 80 pound maybe. So it's got some nice sturdiness to it. That's a, that's a lot of paper. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's a lot potentially happening there. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Love it. That's a lot. We like pattern paper. All right. You are going to get a 3D embossing folder, and this one is called Dibble Tile. Look at that beautiful pattern. Oh, I do like, I like a repeating neutral pattern. That's really pretty. All right, that's good, love it. Putting you here, putting you here. Oh, you are going to get, and these are great. This is one of the Simon Says Stamp seven and a quarter by nine and a half storage envelopes. What's nice about these is they are reinforced on the sides. They have a little pocket that, you know, you open and tucks in right in there, but they're large. So you can save 
your stamps, your dies. I actually use these for Tim Holtz stamps. So this is a really nice storage envelope. I think you're gonna like that. And now we are going to get to the namesake stamp set, the mix and match butterflies. And also have a little surprise. <gasps> there are coordinating dies with this stamp set. That's fun because fussy cutting, while it's good for us, I guess on some level, it's also, well, it's not my favorite. So look at these butterflies. Oh, they're chunky. You have three different butterfly designs and this one cuts out that. So you can cut out that one there. And then of course you have your little butterfly bodies leaves, one of the flowers. That's fun. I wonder, I don't think, yeah, no, it's only for that one up there. How cute is this? You've got hello, sending love and hugs, just saying hi. Thanks so very much. Hope you're doing well. May you feel loved and celebrated. Happy birthday and thinking of you. So this is kind of fun because for people who like to color, these have such nice thick lines. I think that would be really fun to color or maybe even paint. Oh, I might have to get my distress, uh, my distress inks out or my Simon cubes and do a little smushing and painting. We'll see, we'll see, gotta let it percolate. That is the stamp set, very fun. All right, let's look at our card stock. You're going to get one sheet of Simon Says Stamp Greenleaf. You're going to get one sheet of Simon Says Stamp Ivory. These are 100 pound card stocks. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful palette right there. You're gonna get one sheet of the Navy, 100 pound. Oh yes, and you are gonna get a full sheet of the Simon Says Stamp Matte Gold. This is a 90 pound card stock, but this card stock is just a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful thing to work with. I kind of hoard this stuff a little bit. So that is a look at the March kit. We've got our cute butterflies got our pocket that we can, I might just keep my stamps in there. We've got all this beautiful pattern paper that is gonna look lovely with that card stock, okay? Lovely set there. We have our beautiful new, or Positively Dazzling Gems. I'm excited to open those in play. Action Wobblers, glue, dies, embossing folder, and the Tim Holtz ideology. Okay, I'm gonna let it percolate and I'll see you in just a second with card number one. For my first card, I have an idea. It may or may not work, but here's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna cut a bunch of strips with my little paper trimmer here, and I'm gonna alternate them. Probably do like, I don't know, quarter inch strips, maybe one inch strips. And then I'm gonna glue them on here, and then I'm going to cut out the butterfly shapes with this and this. So I'm not gonna use the stamps. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. So let me, well, let me get some things cut and well, let's see how we'll do. We'll go, oh, you know what? It's just hard for me to do on this. Let me get my bigger trimmer. There we go. I need, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut. Let's see here. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna slide this up so it's actually on. There we go. Now you won't slip. I'm gonna cut some quarter inch strips of this cardstock. I don't think I'm gonna mix and match it like with wider or thinner because I feel like these are so small. Well, maybe I'll do a couple quarters or halves. Let's do a couple halves, we'll see. You kinda get the vibe, right? We're just, we're just cutting some strips to put on paper to create a background for this and I can flip them over and I'll do the same. I guess I could do it that way. I don't really need it to be quite that long. All right, let's go quarter inch on the gold for sure. Cause I don't want the gold to be too in your face. All right. I have my strips. And I guess what I could do, I could just put liquid glue on here because I'm thinking it would be cute. Do I want them to be straight or just going across? Hmm, that's what I can't decide. I think I will, I wanna make sure these are long enough. 
Yes, they are. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to be going down and then if I decide that I want to flip anything or do it at an angle, I'll do that. So let me get some glue here and I guess I'll just lay them all down. Let's get out our craft tacky glue. I, I don't know if I want, no, you know what? I want to use tape runner. Let me get tape runner down. I'll get them all glued and then we'll be right back. So you can see here, I'm just gluing and alternating. And I'm not exactly sure yet, like we're alternating our patterns. Um, I think, let's take a bigger one up here. That'll probably be okay. And we're just gonna use this as our, as our butterfly. Now, will it look good? Well, we're gonna find out. Let me keep gluing and um, we'll finish this up. So once it's all down, I'm just gonna burnish really well. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this is just a piece of white 80 pound cardstock. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my snips and go ahead and cut all of these apart, which I'm going to need to do anyway, but I'll go ahead and do it. I like these little metal snips because they get in very nicely in between the areas to release everything. Well, be careful. Things can go flying. So let me get these all cut out as well. I'm going to just cut off the excess here because I do not need to use any of that. Or it doesn't matter if I cut it that perfectly because these are just coming off. Okay. And then let's get this all out of the way. I'm going to put this on my cutting mat and I'm going to be cutting with my Anna Griffin Impress Machine. And now all I have to do is figure out, I do like the idea that we're going to be at a bit of an angle. And I want to make sure, let's see how this looks. I might have to go up a little. Yeah, I think I do. I want to make sure that where the butterfly is hitting, everything gets cut. Nothing's, nothing's like too small a piece. And that, that looks pretty good like that, right? So then you're going to have kind of a continuation of his little body. And I'm also going to take a little piece here I'll just cut this like that. And I hope I have room here. Let's see if I can slide it. Yep. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do a little body out of the gold. All right. Let me go ahead and run this through my die cut machine and then we will continue. All right. I actually ran it through two times just to make sure. I could have used a shim, but I did not think to use a shim. Oh, I'm going to show you this. I've been, I've been using magnetic nail polish wands. Uh, it's the weirdest thing, but it's really easy for picking up dyes. So there's a body. Let's see. Pick you up. There you go. Pick you guys up. You're out of the way. And hopefully we have beautiful, and yes, we do beautiful clean cuts of our butterfly and look how pretty that is it's just you you're not going to miss that that's a butterfly right you can see it and that's without even stamping so i am going to figure out a greeting and we're going to build our card i went ahead and cut out a little bit of the ivory because i would like to shore these up a bit so i'll just use the craft tacky glue and i'll just put a nice little like a little ribbon coming around Oh wait, I didn't take the lid off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't forget to take the lid off. Oh, it is sealed in there for your freshness. All right, now I will add a little glue all the way around so that I can just make sure that my butterfly has a little more dimension. Add you on and of course the liquid glue gives you that second to wiggle into place and I'll go ahead and back the other pieces as well. I want to connect these pieces because I think I want to pop them up, but the only thing I the only way I know how to do it is if I put some craft tacky glue here and here. We are going to connect these pieces with the body, right? And then I'm just going to let it sit so it really adheres and then basically it becomes, oh, see you don't want to don't want to jump it around. It becomes one piece like that. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to put a little Simon block on there and press. And I'm just going to hold that and let, 
that poor bruise and let that adhere because now it's going to be more of one piece and I, that, that's what I want for my card because I want to be able to pop it up with just a little dimension. All right, I'll let that adhere. Got another little tip to share here because I want to keep these together. And I don't think I've had, yeah. Um, here's a fun, here's a fun thing too. See, there's not a lot there, but you can take something like, this is the eighth inch uh, terrific tape from Simon's Stamp. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna tear a little piece and see, yeah, 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 this'll, this will cross right in an area where you're not going to see, right? And I'm not going to take the backers off of this. I just wanted this to hold my butterfly together. And that's going to do great. And I could even, I mean, just to hold the wings in place, right? So now I can take my foam squares and pop them on the back. I think this is enough. You know me, but I'm a, a bit of an over-adhesor. So now as I flip this over, butterfly can float. Okay, I, I will I will stamp a greeting, I promise, and come up with a card design. It's got a little piece of the ivory from the kit, and I'm going to do thinking of you. I also have a sticky mat. This is the waffle flower mat in here to hold my paper. I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp anti-static powder just so that I get any oil and static off here. I've got my clear embossing ink. I did rub my finger over this just a bit. And we will ink up our stamp, bring that down, and I'm just gonna hold my fingers on that. Let that transfer. And I'm sure it's great, but I'm gonna hit it one more time because I do want to emboss this in gold. And I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp this is the ultra fine gold, I love this powder. All right, let me grab the things that I need so we can add our powder. I'm gonna clip on my little Simon Says Stamp clothespin because, you know, protect the mani. That's, uh, that's what I'm all about. All right, we're gonna add our powder. Okay. Well, that's gonna be very nice. And then I will get my heat tool warmed up to melt the powder. All right, I'm going to grab one of my Simon Says Stamp Sentiment labels to cut this out. And I think I'm going to go, well, I may actually want to go with a thicker one because this sentiment is a little thicker than the narrow. So all you do is frame that out and run that through the die cut machine. All right now I can use my little baby. I love this little baby for this reason, um, just sentiment strip trimming. So you want to kind of, I think here I'll just split the last letter and do the same thing on the other side. And that's how we get a nicely centered strip for our card. Now the question is, what does the card look like? Here's the thing, I don't really wanna overdo this because I've already done so much. So let me prep a note card for this. I've got my piece of ivory cardstock here and I'm going to score it right at five and a half. And we'll fold this down and I'll bring in my Teflon bone folder to give that nice crease. Okay. And I think what I'm gonna do is just have this be a very neutral project. I'm gonna tape it closed because it's gotta, well, me, it's gotta be flat, right? We're gonna pop this down. Okay, and again, give that a nice press. And I think all I'm gonna do for this card Oh, look at how big that butterfly is. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to have our thinking of you. I mean, that is just a very sweet card to send to anyone, you know, that you're thinking of. Oh, I love it. I love how neutral this is going to be. All right. I am going to bring in my Simon Says Stamp T ruler, my six inch T square, because I want to make sure that I place my greeting straight. Okay, so take all the backers off here. 
Mm -hmm. And let's hold this probably right here at the center. And I'm also gonna take a little craft tacky glue, just like a little bead, because it gives you a little bit of float time. Because foam squares, when they stick, well, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to move them. So I'm gonna put this right where I want this to be, which is right about here. I'll pop you up a little. And if I hold my ruler like this, then I know all I have to do is visualize side to side, look for that center, and drop it down. This will help me to keep it straight. Okay, push you on there like that. That looks pretty good. All right, and this is also popped up with the thin foam squares. So let's get all the backers off here so we can place the butterfly. And now for the butterfly, I'm not as worried with the liquid glue because I think this is gonna be pretty easy to place. I want it to have a connection to the greeting and all I'm gonna do is just drop it down right on to the card like that. Isn't that fun? So you've got all this shine. Oh, I think that is very fun. Now, do I want to dig out? Because there are the tones in here. Let's take a look at these. In fact, I think what I might do is I might just kind of sprinkle some of these out so you can really see the different sizes, the different colors. I mean, these are beautiful and they're very shiny. And I don't know, do I want to have just a few in and around? Let me grab my other tool here because I kind of like the look of the blues. You know, I could have a few sprinkling in and around. You've got, you've got medium, uh, large, and the small, which is always very nice when you're wanting to sprinkle some around. I, I could do, oh, there's a darker, hold on here. These are very sparkly, <laughs> okay? Maybe I could have uh, one up here in the green and maybe mix a blue up here for something different. I don't know, I kind of like I kind of like going just with the pale blue, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. And again, sometimes I'll just do this, I'll dump them all out, but I'll tell you what, then you can drag all of them to the edge of your work surface and scoop them up with your little friend here. Okay, let's go maybe here. Kind of like that, although if I did like this, I could do three clusters and sometimes I like three clusters even if it's just of two but if I do that I think this one needs to be over here oh there's a lot going into this little friend oh it's so fun though I love it I love it you come here and actually I think you have to come like that so it feels more like we're coming across the card like this all right I'm gonna glue these down and we, this is the end of a very long first card. And the craft tacky glue works great for this too. Little, little dobble do ya. And boop. Boop. I know it might look like it's coming out of his little body, but boop. Butterflies are nothing if not shiny. Shiny good friends. Oh, I gotta scoop that up real quick. I got a little, got a little carried away. There we go. So cute. Boop. And the last one. Boop. Like that. So th that was a lot to go into card one. But I think that's really pretty. And that's taking a die that is meant to cut something out. But when you have something that has such a strong, identifiable shape, don't be afraid to make yourself a funky background of stripes and different kinds of cardstock together and die cut that shape for your card. All right, I think I'll go have a cup of tea now, regroup and move on to the next card. For card two, I have an idea. It's gonna start by taking some inks and some paper and making a background first before we stamp. And I've got a piece of just Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock. I think this will be very pretty. And I am going to take, well, let's see, we're gonna go that, which is sweets, orchid, and surf. And what I'm doing is just going to create a little blendy background, okay? So we'll go 
ink it up, or <laughs> ink it up. Get that water moving, right? Take my paper, and I guess, you know what? I think I'm gonna do the smooth side and just press. Press, 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 until I get something kind of funky, okay? And I put a lot of water down, but isn't that pretty? Look at that. Let's get some of that going. All right, I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to bring in my heat tool and dry that a bit. Just gonna use the little heat it tool from Ranger. Just kind of get that setting into the cardstock a little bit. And then while this is drying, I am going to, I'm gonna add more pink. I'm going to be working on the other idea that I have for this, which is a butterfly, okay? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. See, you just, the more you do this, the dreamier it gets, right? I love these kinds of backgrounds because every time you do it, it's gonna look a little different. I just wanna create, again, a few more layers of the dreaminess. So let's do a little surf and just keep building up. I'm just gonna go there, 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 and then back over purple. Ooh, it's getting pretty. Getting pretty again and dry. And you can sop up a little around the edges as well. I think that's looking very nice. So I think that's good enough for, for me. Um, again, I can keep going, but this is such a fun thing to do with your ink cubes, you know, or just your pads. Just smush a little down, add some water, and we're good to go. All right. I am going to clean this up and I'm going to grab the stamp set to stamp a butterfly. Now I'm going to do this on vellum and I'm going to emboss in white. Now I hope I, did I give myself enough room? Oh shoot, will it go that way? I thought I cut enough, but I may <laughs> have to get a bigger piece of vellum. I want to make sure I have plenty of clearance. Clearance? I think I will because I want to have a vellum butterfly, okay? I think it'll be pretty. Now, of course, the vellum's not in the kit, but sometimes when I'm creating with my kit, I will pull in other things. Not always, but often, I guess, often enough. Now, I'm priming, right? Getting that going. And I'm going to grab my anti-static powder again. Not that vellum needs it as much, because vellum is very smooth. And get this inked up. And press. I'm just gonna walk my hands over this. Little side, little side wrist. If you have wrist issues, um, I do have this little tool that I use, but again, when I'm doing my videos here at Simon, I like to show that you don't have to have every tool under the sun. But a misty, ooh, now see how nicely that transferred. That looks great. I don't need to add anything else. Again, I love the thick lines on this. I think it's so nice. Um, I may have to try some coloring, but never say never. Fine detail white. We're gonna sprinkle you on. Like that. And just let it slide off. And you can see that looks lovely. If you wanna move really fast on vellum, it melts very quickly, right? We had a little extra powder there. So I will go ahead and cut this out off camera so that we get this wing area cut out. All right, this one will be easy because I can hide my elements here with my butterfly body in terms of trying to glue something. So this one, I do want it to touch a little bit like that. Okay, I want there to be more of a join between the top and the bottom, okay? But then when I pop this guy down, he's gonna be the glue, so to speak, that holds together the body. So I trimmed this down. I think this is, what did I cut it at? It's uh, 
three and three quarter by five. I used a die for that. And now I think I'm going to stamp. Well, let's see. Do I want to do thanks so very much? I do like a thank you card, but I also like a sending love and hugs. I just have to figure out where the greeting is going to work best. So I'm going to take this out. And I think I'm also going to emboss this in white. Now, this is dry, so it should work. But let me get my positioning right where I want it, because I do want my butterfly to pop out a little bit. Let me grab my Misty tool and we can stamp this out. I am going to pop this on here. Oh, get right back to where I want it to be. As long as this is straight, I think it'll be good. I'm going to press this down into my little sticky mat. See, it's a little warped and that's the part that I hate, but you know what? It's going to be fine. Meaning the warped paper, because I got to do stamping on here anyway, but I do know this is all nicely dry, so I think this will be fine. Very involved cards today, but I'm, I'm loving the big butterfly. Now, of course, the reason I'm going with that same shape, I just thought it would be fun to cut it out, and that's what I want to do. So, powder, because I've been handling this a lot. Now, if this slides right off, or if it sticks terribly, I will just wait. But I think this is dry enough. So let's come here, let's bring this down. I am gonna bring in my little pressing tool that actually seems to match the paper. Look at that, isn't that cool? Okay, press, lift. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. I like that these greetings also are not super delicate. You know, they're kind of in between. So let's grab our powder. Let's sprinkle this on. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good because it's gonna pop once we melt it. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Oh, see how cute that is now? Pops up there nicely. And of course, we are gonna put our butterfly over here. Now, I'm actually gonna put this piece here in a book just to let it flatten for a little bit. When I come back, I'll have my note card and we will put the card together. I've got quite a bit of, why am I, I'm using my jewels and not my tools. Please forgive me, that's my fingernails. I've got quite a bit of the Big Mama foam tape on the back and that is only because there's a little warping from the moisture and sometimes I just don't have the time to wait. So I will put quite a bit of this on and I'm just gonna use a white note card for this. I thought about navy, but really I just want white. We are gonna pop this up with that beautiful frame of margin space and press. I think this is so cute. Okay, now with my butterfly, I actually cut a couple pieces of Simon Says Stamp, the thin foam scores, the larger ones. And here's what you can do. I mean, is it gonna get flattened? Yeah, it's gonna get flattened, but you can always just gently hold that together, right? Just for a little, you know, just for a little curve. Don't fold, just hold. Don't fold, just hold. I just came up with something. I invented that. Okay, now we're gonna take this off and let's get our tweezers to finish this out. And I'm not gonna put anything else on here. Um, I was looking for gems that I thought would work, but I, because I'm using gold here, I don't wanna do that, but I do want to have a little bit coming off here, but enough so that it will still fit inside of a note card and press. So now I have my cute little butterfly that you can see through, no coloring needed, all that pretty background. I love how that card turned out. All right, let's move on. For the next card, to save a little time, I went ahead and stamped and embossed the butterfly wings, and again, the same ones that are easy for me to cut out here. And I'm gonna pop it down here on this grip mat just to hold this in place while I'm blending on. And I've got four colors that I'm gonna blend onto the wings for an embossed resist. So I'm gonna put some music on and we'll get to blending our wings. I 
have my blend, I'm gonna take my little clean microfiber cloth here. This is a lint-free e-cloth. And I'm just wiping over for any ink that might have stuck around on the embossed surface. Now I'm gonna grab the dies for this and I think I'll also cut out another gold body. I'm kinda of tied to the gold bodies right now. So let me get those cut out and then we'll continue. I'm putting my tacky glue, I'm gonna make these wings a little closer together. Okay, so putting the craft tacky glue there and then I am gonna overlap this quite a bit so that we get that look, right? It can come up a tiny bit like that. Okay, right about there. So that's more of a one piece butterfly. Then instead of the gold, I just cut the little body out. I should have blended over to the side more, but I'm gonna just take the little body friend and pop it right there. More craft tacky glue here, like that. And again, we'll just have to let it sit and wait. But that, that way, there's just a cute little tie in with that. So I will let that adhere for this pretty butterfly. All right, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so let me see. I've taken it out. I, I literally have only done one wobbler card. Now I'll be sure to pop a link in the description and pop a card up as well because, uh, you know, this is, I, I love the fact that I get to learn all kinds of new things for card making and, um, well, action wobblers are one of them. So let's see, I wanna take the piece off here Gosh, wish me luck. This could take a minute or or not, or yeah, well, no, not too bad at all. All right, there we go. I'm gonna pop this right in the center, okay? Like, like that. So that way, let me make sure top to bottom, side to side, you're not gonna see it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And press, okay? We're gonna press to adhere to the back. And I don't know if I did that right. I don't know if it's supposed to be one way or the other, but I do know that my butterfly is gonna be popping up here. So when you take it out of the card, right, it's gonna have all kinds of wiggle on it. However, this panel, which is four by five and a quarter, I want to stamp a greeting. And I feel like, you know, a card like this, just saying hi could be cute, happy birthday. Maybe I should take a more minimal greeting. And I'm actually just gonna stamp it right here on the panel, okay? And maybe too, because I wanna have I wanna have a little bit, you know, of fun and unexpected. I might spatter on something just for a little more interest. So let's stamp this, emboss it in gold, and finish out the card. Actually, I just had an idea that I think is kind of fun and cute. And that is what if I put a few flowers? I don't know, we'll see in and around where the butterfly is. So you'll see them, you know, when you, when you bounce it around. I think this is cute. Why not? We got the stamps. We got the time. Let's do it. What about one down there? So then you'd have three on your card. Now I just have to make sure this is straight. I'm gonna lift this out. I'm gonna look on screen, maybe tilt it a little. Yeah, that's probably good. I should have my little Simon grid on here, but I always forget about it. Let's see how that looks. You know what? This is gonna be great. So let's put this back in. Powder up. And we'll come down one time here. Just kind of walk my hands over. I'm gonna hit it one more time. and we'll add the powder. Get the ultra fine gold and we'll just sprinkle it on the places where I stamped. I just go on the whole thing. This is why I like using a folded piece of paper because I actually just find it easier to know where I'm stamping and where the powder needs to go. All right, like that. That looks great. Now I have 
my little area. It's a little warpy, but I might, and that way when I pop this down, we're gonna have that little bump up happening. I think it's really cute. I think I'm gonna spatter on a little gold just for a little extra. I'll just take a little bit of my aqua pigment here. This is one of the things I love to spatter on. I will put a little on one of my Simon blocks and I'm just gonna use my small number two round brush. Right. This is just to add a little something something. So get it on the brush, tap a little, and then just bring a few little spatters to the card. Not, not nothing heroic, just a little, right? You can even tap like that too if you like for little, little splatters. I just wanted a few. Now I will let this dry so that it doesn't get too mucky muck. And when it's dry and flat, I will finish out the card. I went ahead and put a gold mat just a little bit bigger than my panel. And then I just glued it right onto the green card stock from the kit, right? Put that right down because I feel like if you're popping something up, you don't, you don't really need anything else. Do you know what I mean? So let's get off this little guy. I'll just take it like that. So the adhesive has been released and now I just want to place it, I guess, right? Want to be able to see the greeting, easy peasy and breezy, right there, like that. Press it, let it adhere, and now I have a butterfly that's just flitting on by, just saying hi. That is all I'm gonna do for this card project. I love how that turned out, moving on. For the next card, I'm going to incorporate the embossing folder, gold, and some of this. I'm not sure yet what's gonna happen, so let's start with this. I know how to do that. Let's do that first. I'm gonna use my intricate machine for this because if I change my setting here and I go to 3D emboss, and then I take my uh, pressure and I set it to I don't know, about minus three. That should be enough. So what I'm gonna do is bring the plates down, pop them in, not the plates, you know what I mean. These, <laughs> the platform. I'm gonna pop this on and I am not going to put a cutting plate on this. I'm just going to run it through and I'll feel how it feels going through. And that could be a little tighter. You know what, I might, I might, although I think that works just fine, let me, let me take a look. I think it did. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, beautiful. And that is my textural pattern. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at all that. Okay, probably could have gone a little tighter, uh, maybe down more than minus five, but you know what? I think that's good. And I'm gonna keep this and we're gonna move on. Keep in mind, every die cut machine is a little different and I've used different machines and different settings. So you just kind of have to play with your machine with the 3D embossing folders to find out what works best for you. Now, I'm just gonna dump these out because I kind of want to see all the things in here. I think some of this is really pretty. And what I wondered was, what if I put a greeting on one of them Oh, you know what? I think these panels are just too big. I was thinking they were a little bit smaller, but I could cut, right? And I could pop something down. Oh, that's really pretty. And then do some kind of a greeting on top where I stamped it, but then maybe, maybe somehow glued it on too. Huh. You know what I think I might do? I think I'm gonna cut this down well, maybe a little bit. Maybe just trim it down a little bit. Let me cut that with my paper trimmer. I actually think with, if you put this on a lighter cardstock, it's probably gonna make it seem brighter. This is definitely more muted when you have it on that. And I'm just trying to get the, the frame about right. I think I need to take just a tiny bit more off so the margin looks good. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I think I will try to adhere this just to the panel with some liquid glue because actually 
maybe once it dries, you won't notice it. Now, th this could look like a hot mess. You know, I'm just trying, I'm just trying some new things here. So let's just take a little bit of our craft tacky glue and I'm gonna put some little dots, you know, just kind of go all over the back here making nice little thin bands so it's nothing too crazy and rolling the dice that this will be enough to hold it on without being too obtrusive. So let's try it. And actually, I kind of want my circles to be facing up like that. All right, let's place you down and see what happens. Oh, yes. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I'm gonna hold this in place press it down and I'm going to stick my brick on here maybe something heavier and we'll let it adhere. I went ahead and embossed on navy. Let's see if I can pick that up. Sometimes it doesn't pick up. There we go. Okay. Oh wrong side. There we go. I embossed this on navy with gold and I'm going to use the little notch here to create my little banner greeting. I'll just get it right like that. That's probably pretty close. Let me go ahead and cut that out as well and then I'm going to cut out another banner out of some of the pattern paper from the kit and do some layering. So I just cut them a little bit offset, right? So I can have one be a little higher, one be a little lower. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute, right? And I'm going to figure out where that's going to look best on this piece. Or did I cut it the other way? Let's see. No, no, it's like that. So that's one thought. Now let me, I'm going to get my note card prepped so you can kind of see how this is going to look. You know how I like to say, stop trying to make fetch happen because I love Mean Girls. I don't, I don't need to layer that in. It doesn't really work, but this, I mean, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful card, right? It doesn't really need anything else. Now, if I was really funky, I guess I could layer in some birds. You know, I could put a bird on it. Um, but the problem is I'm not good at that sort of thing. Although that's kind of cute. <laughs> Just a little bird coming out. Maybe I could do a bird and maybe I could take, you know, one of these little, I don't know, one of these little labels here and just sort of say, Ooh, we got, we got things coming all over here. I don't, I don't, you know, but, but, but I don't think I need to. And I think if I'm going to put the bird down, well, you know what, let's put this on first. I have uh, my foam tape on the back here, so I'll get this popped on and I'm going to pop this right down on the Navy note card. I really like, uh, that craft tacky glue for holding things down. Cause you can't see through like you can't, you can't see the glue through the transparency, right? It just looks like it's just sticking there, clear out of nowhere. So, oh, I also cut a little ribbon there. So I think I am going to pop my bird down because I think all I'm going to need is the tiniest, tiniest little amount. We'll just swirl it because that's going to be enough to hold that in place. I'll just sort of figure out my position, right? Right about like that. Have the bird kind of sticking out into the margin like that just a little bit. That's cute. I feel very fancy. I feel very multimedia right now. Okay, pop you there. But I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna, like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna roll the dice and try to get any other pieces in because, you know, you gotta take your multimedia in tiny pieces. <laughs> that's me. But I love doing it because it reminds me that I have skills, that I can try things that I would not normally do. And that is one of the things I love about the Simon kits. And of course, we have a whole new setup now for the kit. And I will be sure to link to the Simon Says Stamp video that explains how the new kits work because you can opt in to add other products now when your kit ships so that you save on shipping. And I think that's really great. Okay, let me find my ruler. I know you're here somewhere. It's clear, sometimes it's hard to see. And then what I'm gonna do is just use the edge of my note card here and I'm gonna pop it right about, right about there. So, oh, no, I wanna be all the way over, there we go. 
Um, I couldn't go right to the edge with this because of the bird's little, little tuft hanging out there. But look at that. Oh, that is really pretty. Like that is just kind of luxe and elegant. I don't think I want to put anything else on here, although the blue gems might look nice. Let me just see what they look like. You know what? Sometimes, again, you don't have to put everything on every card. I don't, I love the color, but I think it's just a little off for the navy. And so that is my finished card project with that beautiful texture from the Dibble Dot. Well, there you go. I don't want to and layering a few transparencies together, that makes me look way fancier than I am. All right, moving on. For my final card today, I pulled these transparencies. I didn't think I was gonna do more with them, but this is just vintage color, color square awesomeness. So I took a panel of ivory, and what I'm gonna try to do, and let's, you know what, let's just tape this down, because sometimes I don't like things to move while I'm trying to line them up. And I'm gonna get the center one placed first, and I'm gonna use my T-square because that's just gonna help me see exactly where that needs to go. And again, I'm gonna use the little bits of liquid glue here. So again, I'm gonna put a little, little craft tacky glue, and I don't think you're gonna really notice it, right? So just enough, just enough here to hold these in place, just kind of swirling it around. Put that back in upside down. Oh, easy now. We're getting we're getting towards the end and it starts to get a little wild. Um, okay, so now I'm right where I want to be and I'll just drop this right in the center. And once I have the first one placed, then the others will be much easier to place. So we're going to come up just a little. I think that looks good. And make sure that I'm visually centered from top to bottom like that and how, how are we looking there yeah that looks pretty good and then all I have to do is place the other two right so I'm kind of going in a in a rainbow order of sorts I'm gonna have about the same space between each one and that is gonna be the base of my card design so I think this is really fun and also just the discovery of how easily you can use a liquid glue on these transparencies because they have a higher opacity well than I thought they did you know this is more than I thought they were going to have and you're not seeing any of it okay dropping that down and again I'm just going to focus on the spacing like that and the last one all right, and then bring this down, and again, it's pretty easy. I mean, rulers help, obviously, but visually, that's not hard to do, you know what I mean? So you're just, you know, getting it on there. Three panels, they look funky, they look chic, and now I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of this because I'm gonna pop this up onto my soft navy note card. So there'll just be that nice little framing margin space. Pop that down with a nice little margin of space all the way around. Love how classy the navy and the ivory look. And then I think all I'm gonna do is just pop my greeting right there. This is a very kind of funky vintage meets graphic design style. I actually really like this card a lot. You know, I never know when I start a kit, and that, again, that's the fun in playing with products and playing with them in a way that works for you. I'm gonna put a little dab of glue there just so I have that little bit of float time, and I'm gonna line it up right on the edge here so that it's right between those two. I'll bring in my T-square just to make sure I'm straight, and that looks pretty darn good. And that's the finished card project. It's just so graphic and interesting with those transparencies and you cannot see any of the glue. The opacity on that is so high. That's really cool. All right, I am done for the day. Let's take a look at all the cards from today's video. So here's a look at the finished cards and it definitely went pretty butterfly heavy. I knew I was gonna be doing that because of the big stamp and the die. So card one, 
we have our strips of paper and here I could have overlapped the butterfly body or the wings the top and bottom very easily I don't know why I didn't think to do that I do love how this turned out it's such a simple design and you can do that with any kind of stripe that you have and mix and match it your patterns but also just taking that suggested shape of the butterfly without the stamp works great for the next card I love doing the whole stamp on vellum and if you have a way to you know have it glued down where it literally looks like it's just floating on your paper you know what give this a try it's so much fun and again love having the die for that so the sending love and hugs I love making a smooshy sort of background love how that card turned out and then we're coming into wobbler we got a wobbler this is so fun I mean you can see right there's the wobbler right and it just you know when this comes out of the envelope right it it flattens down for mailing they take it out and it's gonna have this lovely action of wobbling I love just having a few of the other little stamps in the background of course they're in the gold and that's very pretty and then the green cardstock is a nice base to tie it all together because the ink blend ends with green and I just thought that looked really nice this card I love I did not know what I was gonna do but combining that dibble folder putting on a few transparencies and then just a simple greeting that's a very elegant thank you card that would be fabulous to send to anyone and then the last card of today's video three transparencies one really small greeting from the stamp set ivory navy good to go I, I really think this is my favorite card today it's between these two actually but I do think this definitely has a different vibe from down here to up here and those are the finished cards for today's unboxing. If you're interested in the Simon Says Stamp subscription card kit, I have a link below where you can go and sign up. Simon Says Stamp has updated the subscription program this year, and now there are so many more benefits to being a subscriber. Plus, you can skip any month and you can opt out of the program at any time. I'll have more information as well over on my blog post, and I'll have a link as well in my description. I have a visual supply list below, but I will also have the full supply list on my blog post, and I'll link that in the description for you as well. I hope this inspires you to check out the Simon Says Stamp card kit, and I will see you all back here with more card projects soon. If you like this style of video, check out my most recent two kit unboxings, and I will see you in those videos.